There was much yes. criticism. I was hospitalized twice uh, because of um, stress. We call everything stress today, so we'll call it. But the, um, uh, the objection was that um, the female is always given the opportunity, that the black male um, causes a kind of fear running through the working white hierarchy of television and film and so on and so forth. So he is more difficult for writers and producers and, to deal with. It is easier to deal with a female. I never disagreed with that. I never disagreed with that. I knew, as we all knew, that at that time, if there was a project for a black actor, it would probably be a female. The only thing that I had in my power was that I felt that it would be impossible for this woman not to date. She should date men that are pursuing her. She's, I'm young, I'm, I have a child in the working. So we began to pursue the thoughts of her dating. And that was problematic for them at first. Them, I'm talking about the creative people and the producers. But eventually, uh, we allowed Julia to date. It was a major event. Um, um, what there had was, happened to your husband? Well, my husband was, uh, I was a widow. I'm, he was killed in the war. All right. And she definitely um, was supporting a child and working. Uh, but the dating business was very precarious. We eventually resolved that by allowing me to have uh, two or three dates that were important. It was very, very important that that part of my life was not excluded. We had so little to do with the black community. I was very happy that we had the opportunity to explore that in 1968. Absolutely. It was, you know, explaining to my child that um, mommy would like to go out to have dinner with, so, had never been seen, ne Absolutely. never been heard of in that, in that context. I know that there are some young comedians who make fun of the fact that we were so corny and so what, but we were dealing with a different time and, and many of them don't have any way to relate to that at all. They're just... They're just much too young. I mean, to to tell them that there were films made and and television shows where the husband and wife, white, black, green, or yellow, were not allowed to sleep in the same bed. Uh, I think they would find that pretty uh, astonishing too. But it did happen. That's that was our culture at the time. How did you handle the criticism? Um, very often I chose not to handle the criticism and I directed the, the criticism to the creative powers that be. I am merely an actor. I do what I can. We have injected several things that were my ideas and Hal was kind enough to fight for them so that we could have them as a part of the show. Write to your congressman. Write, no, I'm making. <laughs> write to 20th Century Fights. Write to NBC. Confront the exec. The, the the credits are there at the end of the show, and uh, don't let me feel that I'm standing here alone. Help me. And uh, I think we received um, a lot of mail, a lot of criticism in the beginning, and that's when I was uh, hospitalized for mm, not a long time, or maybe a week, something like that. But um, um, for the most part, looking back, realizing what we were trying to do at that time, what we were given, the parameters, I feel proud of it. I feel and that it, it made a difference. It, it was the beginning of a new kind of approach. And I think shortly after we were on the air, Mod Squad came along. And... Um, I don't remember when I Spy came along. It was 65. 65. Yes. And that was something that had never been on the air before. That's partners. Right. That's right. Black and white partners. That's right. So we were all breaking down these walls that could never be. And um, it was uh, 
exciting. It was very exciting to be a part of that. And I think it has a lot to do. It has a great deal to do, more than many of us recognize, with, with what we are seeing today.